Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garapy. In the previous video, I showed you how to get started with Webpack without writing any configuration. In this video, we're gonna cover some NPM scripts that'll be real handy for running Webpack so we don't have to rely on NPX. As always, this video will start with some starter code that's available on GitHub, and I'll link it down in the description below. Let's get going. So we're starting here in our package.json. And the very first script we're going to write is a build script. This script will just run the bundler once. So in this case, we use the webpack CLI and we use the build command. Now the build command is actually the default webpack command. So you could technically leave it off, but I prefer to be verbose when writing NPM scripts. So let's try this. We'll run NPM run build, and this will run webpack for us. Look, it, uh, it bundled our main.js file. Now let's add one more. What if we wanted our builds to automatically rebuild anytime we changed a file? Webpack has a watch mode that allows us to do this. So we're gonna make a script called build colon watch. And that's just totally arbitrary, but that's the convention I like to use. And the command will run is webpack build dash dash watch. Now there's another way to write this webpack watch would accomplish the same thing. But again, I prefer to be verbose. This is the syntax that I like. So let's te test this out. We'll go NPM run build colon watch. And it builds once it bundles the files, but it doesn't stop there. It's waiting for file changes. So let's go over to our index.js file. We'll make a change and we'll provide a string argument. To this and look down here this built in 173 milliseconds watch the the terminal as i save this file it rebuilds and that took 104 milliseconds so it's watching and rebuilding our files now the last script we're going to add is our start script and on the start script i kind of like to keep my primary development command so in this case that's going to be webpack serve this is going to build and serve up our index.html file. So let's go ahead and run it. npm run start. Oh, and remember, start is a special command in npm, so you don't need the run. You can just say npm start, and that's going to run webpack serve and host our application on localhost 8080. And there it is. It's logging out to the console, and in the network tab, it's only making one request to main.js. Now you might think if I modify this, this will rebuild and regenerate. So say, Hey, let's change this to, um, Brad Lee. And that's not actually the case. If I go and refresh this here, this isn't actually the case. Uh, there's one important thing to know about Webpack dev server. When it builds, it actually holds everything in memory and doesn't write out to the disk directory. And because our index.html is pointing directly at the dist directory, webpack serve is not going to automatically reload our JavaScript bundle. We're going to need to set up a configuration for that. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in the next video. So I'll see you there. Thanks.